Joining us now is Dr. Yunnan Shah from the Georgia Institute of Technology. Dr. Shah, good to see you. Nice to meet you. You have two talks throughout the 2017 MRS fall meeting, which we'll mm -hmm. get to in a moment. But first, tell me about the focus of your research. Okay, uh, my research is mainly focused on nanomaterials, in particular metal nanocrystals. It's a very tiny nanoparticles with dimension maybe only tens to hundreds of nanometers. Uh, in size. They are very useful in a number of areas like catalysis, mm. biomedical research, and uh, optics, photonics, all those kind of uh, fields. And why did you decide to focus on nanomaterials? Well, when you shrink uh, materials from large size to nanoscale, they are going to have many interesting new properties that are actually very different from the bulk materials, including their optical properties, electronic properties, catalyst uh, activities, and so on and so forth. Tuesday, you're giving the Symposium X talk. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. What will you be speaking about? Okay, um, that talk is mainly on the fundamental side of my research. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, we are trying to um, understand uh, the mechanism uh, gave us uh, robust synthesis of nanomaterials. In particular, we want to uh, see if we can predict a synthesis, the outcome of a synthesis, like a specific size, specific shape, structure, and so on and so forth. So in that case, we identify a parameter that could be used, like the reduction rate or kinetics, mm -hmm. that can be used to predict. Even before you do synthesis, you can predict uh, what kind of outcome you're going to uh, have. Yeah. If you could look into your crystal ball, where do you see the future of nanomaterials? For nanomaterials now, of course, uh, we already have a very good understanding of the synthesis, and now we are moving into a uh, new um, application side. Mm -hmm. uh, let me put it this way. Uh, by the way, uh, if you are using smartphones, touch screens, Actually, they are using one of the nanomaterials invented by my group. So we're already seeing the results. In exactly. The yeah, it's called silver nanowires that can be used for the touch screens. Like if you have big screens, you want to touch on it, and that is. I mean, used to be based on ITO, these kind of uh, coatings. Now they replace it with uh, silver nanowires. Yeah. So that's some of the things we will be seeing now and into the future. Yeah, it's, a, it's already in some version of smartphones and some like uh, Lenovo, tablet, PCs, and so on and so forth. You also have a second talk on Thursday, correct? Yes. And what will you be speaking about? For that one, I will focus on uh, specific applications, like in catalysis. One of the current focus is on fuel cells. Um, basically, we want to keep the environment clean. Eventually, we want to introduce new energy source, not like combustion engines kind sure. of things. So fuel cells uh, actually will give us zero emissions in a sense. But now the, uh, the major issue or barrier is the cost of the catalyst. So we want trying to find ways to reduce that cost by engineering the nanoparticles uh, we are producing. With, with fuel cells, I know they've been around uh -huh. for years. Exactly. When do you see them trickling down to the consumer? Actually, if you look at the market, uh, Toyota had these uh, 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 vehicles, passenger vehicles, mm. already on the market from last year. Actually, they sold about 5,000 uh, vehicles last year. And the main restriction now is the gas station. You have to have the special hydrogen gas station that can pump your uh, uh, tank. You know. But it's very quick. If you have that station, only two minutes you can have a tank loaded that can drive for 400 miles, actually. It's very efficient in that kind of sense. And a final question. What are you most looking forward to at the 2017 MRS fall meeting? Well, um, it's really like integration of fundamental understanding and uh, exploration of new applications. That's always two exciting directions. Dr. Shah, good to see you. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you for your time.